Welcome to Tactic Techniques. Important interview questions and answers of Grafana. What is Grafana? Grafana is an open source platform for data visualization and monitoring. It allows users to create and share interactive and customizable dashboards for real time analysis of time series data from various sources, including Prometheus, InfluxDB, and Elasticsearch. What is Prometheus? Prometheus is an open source systems monitoring and alerting toolkit. It collects metrics from monitored targets by scraping metrics HTTP endpoints and stores the data in a time series database. Prometheus provides a query language for retrieving and analyzing metrics, as well as a range of alerting and visualization options, including Grafana. How does Grafana work with Prometheus? Grafana works with Prometheus by querying the Prometheus database for data, which is then visualized in the form of charts, graphs, and other visual elements on Grafana dashboards. This enables users to easily view and analyze metrics from multiple Prometheus servers in a unified and customizable way. Can you explain the difference between Prometheus and Grafana? Prometheus is a metrics collection and storage tool, while Grafana is a data visualization and analysis platform. Prometheus provides the data, and Grafana provides the interface for analyzing and visualizing that data. How do alerts work in Prometheus and Grafana? In Prometheus, alerts are defined using rules, which specify when to trigger an alert based on the value of a metric. When an alert is triggered, it is sent to an alert manager, which can notify the appropriate personnel or send a message to a chat platform, such as Slack or PagerDuty. In Grafana, alerts can also be configured for individual panels on a dashboard, and can be triggered based on the data being displayed. Prometheus is a popular open-source monitoring and alerting system. It consists of the following components. Prometheus Server, collects and stores time series data from various sources. Alert Manager, handles alerts generated by the Prometheus Server and routes them to various receivers, for example, email, PagerDuty, Slack. Push Gateway, allows short-lived jobs to push metrics to a Prometheus server. Exporters, bridges to gather metrics from various systems and make them available to Prometheus. Grafana, a popular open-source dashboard and visualization tool that can be integrated with Prometheus to visualize and analyze collected metrics. Prometheus Operator, a Kubernetes operator that makes it easier to deploy and manage Prometheus-based monitoring in a Kubernetes environment. What are the features of Grafana? Grafana is a popular open-source dashboard and visualization platform for time series data. Here are some of its key features. Data source integration, Grafana supports a wide range of data sources, including time series databases such as InfluxDB, Prometheus, and Graphite, as well as cloud data sources as AWS CloudWatch, Microsoft Azure Monitor, and Google Stackdriver. Dashboard creation, Grafana provides an intuitive interface for creating and organizing custom dashboards, with support for custom panels, templating, and alerting. Visualization, Grafana provides a wide range of visualization options, including line charts, bar charts, heat maps, and pie charts, among others. Alerting, Grafana provides built-in alerting capabilities, allowing users to set up alerts based on conditions and thresholds, with support for alerting via email, Slack, PagerDuty, and other notification channels. Collaboration, Grafana provides collaboration features, such as sharing dashboards, folders, and alerts with other users, as well as role-based access control for managing user permissions. Plugins, Grafana provides a rich ecosystem of plugins, allowing users to extend its functionality and add support for additional data sources and visualizations. Performance, Grafana is designed for high performance, with the ability to handle large amounts of data and support for real-time updates. What is a label in Grafana? Labels are a type of key-value pair. To describe a log stream, we call them metadata. Labels are particularly crucial in Loki since they define a stream. More precisely, the stream is defined by the combination of each label key and value. How do I create a report in Grafana? Step-by-step -step instruction Enter the name of the report in the Report Name field. Select the type as a dashboard to schedule the report. Select the required dashboard from the Select Dashboard drop-down to generate reports. Load time for dashboard is the time taken for Scheduler to evaluate the Grafana dashboard. 
What is Grafana Cloud? Grafana Cloud is used in observing platform, integrating metrics, tracing and logging with the help of Grafana. It is the best open source observability software that consists of Prometheus, Loki and Tempo without installing, maintaining and then scaling our observability stack. What are Grafana Alerts? Grafana Alerts helps and allows in itching rules in our dashboard panels, we can save the dashboard as it extracts the alert rules in a separate alert rule storage and schedules it for the evaluation. Dashboard alerts consists of four components as follows. Alerting rule used in creating an alert. Contact point used in sending notification when conditions of alerts rule are met. Notification policy used in grouping, matching and determining where, how to send notifications. Silences used in matching and silencing notifications. What is Graphite Grafana? Graphite is a monitoring tool yet again. It makes time series data storage and viewing easier. In a data monitoring setup, Graphite is best used as a data source for Grafana dashboard. Grafana provides an advanced Graphite query editor that allows us to interact with data using expressions and functions. What alert notification channels does Grafana support? Majorly it supports below alert notification channels. Email. Slack, Kafka, Google Hangouts Chat, Microsoft Teams. How do you create a Grafana dashboard? To create a Grafana dashboard you will want to navigate to the Grafana application after you have installed the platform and select the plus icon from the top right hand side menu. You should now see the option to select add an empty panel. Selecting this option will take you to the main dashboard configuration screen where you can start experimenting with different settings to create your first dashboard. Where does Grafana save dashboards? The folder slash var slash lib slash Grafana is the default location where all Grafana dashboards are saved. Is Grafana an APM? Grafana is a great open source solution for combining data from multiple data sources. The new Instana APM plugin for Grafana is another example of our commitment to working with the open source community to foster solutions that meet the needs of all customers. What is metrics in Grafana? Metrics tell you how much of something exists, such as how much memory a computer system has available or how many centimeters long a desktop is. In the case of Grafana, metrics are most useful when they are recorded repeatedly over time. What is the difference between Splunk and Grafana? Grafana is your tool if you need a product only for data visualization without spending a fortune on it. Splunk is your product if you need a more versatile solution that can ingest any kind of data or logs and give you the capabilities to query and search through the data quickly. What is a Grafana dashboard? Grafana dashboard contains data from the plugged-in data sources like Graphite, Prometheus, InfluxDB, Elasticsearch, MySQL, PostgreSQL, etc. The dashboard contains a gamut of visualization opt-ins such as geomaps, heat maps, histograms, all the variety of charts and graphs which a business typically requires to study data. It also can contain different individual panels on the grid, and each panel has different functionalities. What types of monitoring can be done via Grafana? There are four types of monitoring that can be done by Grafana are CPU, disk space, memory, top process. What are the two types of alerting in Grafana? The two types of Grafana are as follows. Alert rule helps in defining conditions which are regularly evaluated by Grafana. Notification channel, helps in notifying the channels which are configured for the alerts. What is Loki Grafana? ENDS, Loki is a Prometheus-inspired horizontally scalable, highly available, multi-tenant log aggregation system. It is intended to be both cost-effective and simple to use. It uses a set of labels for each log stream rather than indexing the contents of the logs. How to configure the Grafana? To configure Grafana, you can follow these steps. Install Grafana on your server or local machine. Start the Grafana server by running the command Grafana server or through your system service manager. Access the Grafana web interface by going to http colon slash slash localhost colon 3000 or http colon slash slash your server IP 3000 in your web browser. Log in with the default username and password, admin slash admin. Change the default admin password for security reasons. Add a data source for Grafana to connect to and retrieve data from, for example InfluxDB, Prometheus, Elasticsearch, etc. 
Create a dashboard by adding panels and visualizations to display the data from your data source. Optionally, you can customize the look and feel of your dashboard by using themes and adjusting the settings. How to create a dashboard in Grafana To create a dashboard in Grafana, follow these steps. Log into the Grafana web interface. Click on the Dashboards menu and select New. Select the type of dashboard you want to create, either a new blank dashboard or a pre-configured example dashboard. Add panels to the dashboard by clicking on the Add Panel button. You can add various types of panels, such as graph, table, heat map, single stat, etc. Configure the panel by selecting the data source, defining the query to retrieve the data, and adjusting the visualization settings. Repeat steps 4 and 5 to add more panels to your dashboard as needed. Save your dashboard by clicking on the Save button. Optionally, you can share your dashboard with others by using the sharing options, such as embedding it on a website, sharing a link, or exporting the dashboard to a file. How to configure Grafana with Prometheus To configure Grafana with Prometheus, follow these steps. Make sure you have Prometheus installed and running. You can refer to the Prometheus documentation for instructions on how to install and run Prometheus. Install and start Grafana on your server or local machine. Log into the Grafana web interface using the default username and password, admin slash admin. Go to the data sources section and click on the add data source button. Select Prometheus from the list of data sources. Enter the Prometheus server URL typically http colon slash slash localhost colon 9090. Optionally, you can configure advanced options such as access control, timeouts, and query processing. Test the connection to Prometheus by clicking on the Save and Test button. Create a dashboard by clicking on the Dashboards menu and selecting New. Add panels to the dashboard by clicking on the Add Panel button. Configure each panel by selecting the Prometheus data source, defining the query to retrieve the data, and adjusting the visualization settings. Save your dashboard by clicking on the Save button. How do I create a report in Grafana? To create a report in Grafana, follow these steps. Log into the Grafana web interface. Go to the dashboard that you want to use for the report. Click on the Share Dashboard button and select Snapshot. Configure the snapshot options such as the time range, the refresh rate, and the width and height of the report. Optionally, you can add a title and description for the report and choose to include the panel titles, the Grafana logo, and other elements in the report. Click on the Create button to generate the report. You can then download the report as a PDF or PNG file, or you can share the report by sending a link or embedding the report in a web page. What is difference between Grafana and Kibana? Grafana and Kibana are both open source data visualization and dashboard building tools, but there are some key differences between them. Purpose, Grafana is primarily used for monitoring and analyzing time series data from various data sources such as InfluxDB, Prometheus, Graphite, etc. Kibana, on the other hand, is part of the Elastic stack and is primarily used for visualizing and exploring log data stored in Elasticsearch. Data Sources Grafana supports a wide variety of data sources, including various databases, cloud services, and APIs, while Kibana is specifically designed to work with Elasticsearch. Dashboards Grafana offers a more flexible and customizable dashboard experience, with a focus on creating interactive visualizations and alerts. Kibana provides a more intuitive, interactive, and exploratory dashboard experience, with a focus on visualizing and analyzing log data. Features, Grafana includes advanced features such as alerts, panels, and plugins, while Kibana offers features such as visualizations, search and analytics, and machine learning. In conclusion, Grafana is a more general-purpose tool for monitoring and analyzing time series data, while Kibana is a more specialized tool for exploring and visualizing log data in Elasticsearch. The choice between the two will depend on your specific use case and the type of data you want to visualize and analyze. How do you backup Grafana dashboards? There are several ways to backup Grafana dashboards. Using the API, Grafana provides a REST API for managing dashboards and other resources, which can be used to export and import dashboards. 
You can use the API to export a dashboard by sending a GET request to the API endpoint, and then save the response to a file. You can then import the dashboard by sending a POST request to the API endpoint with the exported dashboard as the request body. Using Grafana CLI, Grafana provides a command line tool, Grafana CLI, that can be used to backup and restore dashboards. You can use the dashboard export command to export a dashboard, and the dashboard import command to import a dashboard. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel.